realize they were being treated to a first. You see, the setup wasn't what you'd expect. Kirk Matthews tells us about a stage powered by the sun. There is no official name for these containers rolled into Kapiolani Park over the weekend. For this venue, they can be converted to stages. So we had to reinforce the walls and the sides with uh, basically what's called tube steel. It's like two inch by six inch by 20 feet and seam weld entire sections up and down and across the openings. The possibilities for this mobile stage are endless. It's a, a combination of the mobility of the unit with the container and then the idea of powering it with solar energy only so that this becomes a stage you could take out to Sandy Beach, but there's no power at all. There was plenty of sun last weekend to power the container slash stage, and when the sky is overcast? They've got about four kilowatts on the solar panel on the top. That'll run a house for a day, basically. But what if it's no sun when you get to the venue? Well, the batteries will hold up to about four days worth of charge. Chris and I got to thinking that would have lasted through Woodstock. <laughs> On a more serious note, this container power unit served a vital purpose during the Japanese earthquake and tsunami. Their prototype models were actually driven into the affected areas. Now, nobody can charge their cell phones, their batteries, and the emergency equipment. And they brought this in, hooked it up, and it was a uh, godsend. Tomatz expects more of the units to be rolled out soon. Kirk Matthews, KHON2 News. And if you have a big party coming up, the solar container is for rent. If you're interested, go to our website, khon2.com, for information. Great idea. Mm -hmm. Will we have sun? We actually will until a certain day. We'll find out what day that is right after the break.